Hello, welcome back. Right, Amiga 500. Let me act, these things are going up in price, man, I'll tell you. What I'm talking about today is this. Um, the keyboard's getting old on a lot of them, as you all well know. Time's ticking by. And even my second hand ones now are getting quite pricey. Anyway, I picked up this little adapter. This uh, keyboard replacement to UA, use a US, not USB, PS2 ended keyboard in your Mega 500. Now, I just thought I'd do this video because I was playing around with it the other day. And I thought, well, I got it through 20 quid. Well, it's worth a try. So I haven't got a keyboard for this one. So I thought I'd try it. So I thought I'd share this with you because another lesson learned why you should always keep your old stuff. But anyway, this is how you do it. You get this one, you stick it in, and it's the nearest to you that goes in the slot anyway. It just slots in, like so. Oh, make sure I get it right. And you just plug it in, that's it. And away to go. So I thought, brilliant, 20 quid. Why would I not? So anyway, so then I turn it on, but well, hang on a minute, I have my trusty um, PS2 keyboard. So I'm about to think, right, I can do some stuff on this today. So I'm going to plug it in. And I just popped in my uh, battle chess game, thinking, brilliant. We'll chuck that in and we'll have a play. I've got well, both my eyes on because the one flickers, doesn't it? Because it's uh, just to make sure everything's working properly. Anyway, so I thought, right, got my keyboard. That's good. PS2 keyboard, it says it works with a PS2 keyboard. So I thought, brilliant. So then I do this, play it away. And I thought, right, just see if it works. run it along chance to load it in one of my favourite games again still an all time classic come on take your time as usual and then it wants you to put your password in or whatever so I'm thinking Press enter, wow, it works. We're going through. So you click on whatever. Come on, click. You're thinking, brilliant. So we got past the password screen. So I thought, yeah, I fixed it. So I thought, brilliant, it works. But then I plug it in again. And then this time, I managed to notice this. Wait for it to load up to the menu screen. So I thought, you know, try to do something, and then I couldn't get any letters to work properly. All the so what? Uh, let's go to rename. So I thought some of the letters. I was going to type something out with another program. So I thought, well, I'll delete these. So I thought, brilliant. So. I deleted them, find I couldn't delete on there, um, backspace, I couldn't do anything, anyway, so, I um, can't remember which one it was, I went back, anyway, so what I noticed, is some of the keys, if I can delete some of these, I don't know which one was deleting, oh they are back there, can I delete, yeah I could delete like that, but what I'm finding is not all the keys are working. So I'll go along here, look, the letter U don't work. I, O, whatever else doesn't work. So only some of the keys are working. So I thought, oh my God, I'll stuffed again, bought another piece of crap. And I thought it was working. So anyway, so I thought, sod that. So what I did, I thought, right, okay then, I'll take it out. And what I'm doing is I've got a, a USB adapter to PS2. So what I thought I would do is get my where is this? 
you've got a USB one here. Yeah, so I thought I'll get a USB one. So I thought I'll plug it in here. Show us the way way up. And I'll plug a USB in it, thinking maybe that's faulty. So I plug it in, as I'm going to do with this keyboard now. And then see what happens again. So just let it load again. So again, as always, get disappointed. Frustration of having old computers and things you're thinking, oh right, this will save you a bit of problem. And then so I thought, right, we'll do the same thing again, rename and see if it works. Nothing. Won't even work with the USB adapter. So I thought, oh, why is it always me? Why is it when I buy something that never seems to work properly? So again, I thought, hang on a minute, maybe these PS2 new versions that made for PCs later on, maybe they're too modern, because like these, these are like, I mean, this is an old one, this is my CD2, no problem, works mint. But again, because this adapter has been made to go on here, it looks for something different. So lucky for me, in the corner over there, I've got an Olivetti and I thought I wonder because this is an old old one would this work so again I thought I'd try it I can tell it's an old one because Olivetti colour coded stuff in those days green for mouse orange for keyboard so I thought right okay we'll try this one otherwise I'm still stuffed because I wouldn't have a keyboard so again we'll just plug this on and then we'll see. And what's good about this, I noticed I've got lights on. So if you can see that, there's a light on the end of it. So I thought, well, that's a good start. There's a light on there. Didn't notice that on the other one. So then I thought, well, the IOUs and everything wouldn't work. So I thought I'd try that on here. And rename the file. And then we can delete. And look at this straight away. The keys are working, the delete key, so I can do the QWERTY. Everything is working. You look, see, anything I type, space bar, well, I'm going to go to the end. Delete key, everything's working. So yet again, what about I pressed enter by So yet again, having old stuff lying around, people call junk, why do you bother keeping it? This has saved my life again. I can still use my Amiga 500 with an external keyboard, no problem. So there you go. Just thought I'd share it. An Olivetti, Olivetti compact keyboard has done it. Fix the problem, no problem. So if I were you, snap yourself a couple of Olivetti compact um, keyboards and you can buy one of those for 20 quid. Again, does get money because by the time you buy one of these like 10 20 30 40 50 pounds some of these external um keyboards but it's worth it because it solved my problem but i already had one lucky for me i've ordered another two gone on for 20 quid and a little bit more for delivery so i've got a couple of spare ones again now just in case because i've got quite a few mika 500s with and without keyboards so yeah so just sort of hand that tip on to you Try not to get rid of some of your old shit thinking it's not useful anymore. Because in my case, it paid off. So, that's it for now. Um, until the next time. Just thought I'd give that. Uh, see you again maybe in a couple of weeks. See what else comes up that I can't get to work. Anyway, bye-bye for now.